The ATTE is probably the most recognizable and iconic vehicle from the entire Clone Wars series, and we see it in the Battle of Geonosis as well. Today, we're going to be reviewing this vehicle. Also, I just wanted to thank everyone who subscribed to the channel in the last few days. We're on the road to 300 subscribers right now, so I'd really appreciate it if you would join the club. Thank you, let's get into the video. Alright, so let me just preface by saying this vehicle is a beast. This is the clone it comes with, and this is the clone it comes with next to the vehicle. This vehicle's not to scale, obviously, but it's pretty good, and the figures fit really well inside of it. Also, I'd just like to say this clone can get yellowed pretty badly if he's buried for multiple months and left outside. We were playing outside once and this guy got buried, and um, this is him after a wash, but he was pretty dirty before. I actually found him when I was watering plants one time, and um, yeah. Now we're going to take a look at some of the features of this vehicle. Now you can pretty easily fit a clone into this pilot seat right here. He fits perfectly, and um, you know, you can make them look good. <clears throat> now. There's a button right on the back here, and my vehicle's not on, but when you press this, it just gives a sound effect, and it lights this up, lights this up, lights this up. There's a couple different ones based on how long you hold it. Same with this button right here. These three buttons here just give you different sound effects, and this one we'll get to in just a sec. Now, some of the actual features. This thing swivels, obviously. This thing can come off pretty easily. I'm not going to take it off because I don't want to have to deal with getting it back on. But this comes off. I think you might have to assemble it. Taking this around to the more front end of the vehicle, this little door opens up and this is where the driver is supposed to go. So you can see there's some stickers in here that are pretty cool. You also have four of these little cannons right here, all four of them swivel, and they fire pretty good when you press these buttons. Now, aside from that, moving over here on the side a little bit, there's this little hatch right here where you can put in like the gunners, um, I think presumably that control these cannons. I don't know what they actually do in universe, but there's four seats in here. So you can put four different clones in here all along the line and you can access this hatch from the other side as well. This little bit right here, I think is just for like putting guns or little pieces of equipment or whatever. Um, I rarely use it, but most of this vehicle is just on display. So I, I rarely use it at all, um, but that's there. Moving on to the back, we have this main compartment. So this button right here, I'm not gonna press it again, or I will press it, but uh, I have the sound effects turned off because they're really, really loud, and it's pretty early in the morning. So when you press it, all three of these are supposed to come out. And I think they just don't because of how long I've had this. There it goes, yeah. So it's a little toss of the dice, but it's no, really, no big deal at all. You can really just kind of push them out if they're not. Actually taking a look back here, there's a lot of different pegs and spots you can put your figures. You'll notice some of these pegs going down the whole ramp. They go down all the way so you can have figures running up and down the ramp. There's room in here with these little hand grips for figures. So you can kind of just like stick them in between like this and have them gripping on if you want to. Or you can just do an assortment of different things. There's this little back panels here and down below which presumably control these back guns that function exactly the same as the front ones pretty much. They fire the same. And um, back here as well, you got like some little compartments like this, which you can just kind of throw a gun into. I have some of these like clone binocular things that I've been keeping in there. So yeah. Now, obviously this vehicle has six legs and this is actually one of the major, well, not major flaws, but this is a little bit of a flaw in this vehicle. If this vehicle is played with and abused a little bit, which it definitely was back in the day, I kept pretty good care of mine. But uh, my brother's is a good example of what happens when yours is abused. He would store it with all the legs broken off and they would come off and it was just a pain. But once these legs start coming off, they get a little harder and harder every time to put back in. And so now on the second one of these, the legs just don't go in. You just kind of have to stick them in and have them balanced, but they don't actually clip in. Um, but if you take good care of it, I've had this for like years. This was the first ever vehicle I got and one of the first Star Wars things I got. So it's a good vehicle. At full capacity, this vehicle could probably hold right around 20 clones. You've got like four or five in here, got a couple more on the outskirts there, four of them in here, one here, one here, and then however many you want to put on the top or around it in your display. So overall, this is actually my favorite vehicle in my collection. It's just, it totally reminds me of my childhood. I played with this thing every single time I played with my Star Wars figures. This thing was out in the battle and, um, you know, just a really awesome vehicle overall. I would tell you to go pick one of these up, but the price of this thing has increased so ridiculously. 
I don't know where you're going to find one. But if you do get a good deal on it, I would recommend picking it up because these things are just super cool. And I don't know why, but their value has skyrocketed. Same with the turbo tank, which I still haven't been able to get my hands on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to like and leave me a comment just letting me know so I can do some more of these vehicle reviews. I'm thinking about doing a top 10 vehicles in my collection. So spoiler alert, this one's going to be number one. Um, so if you're excited for that, maybe turn on notifications or whatever. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider clicking on one of these videos right here, maybe hitting that middle thing. And overall, just stay safe, guys.